It's only entertainment. Welcome back to the Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and host of your Cannabis Business Podcast. We're at MJ Unpacked. I'm here with Carrie and Patty of Hello Again Products. Ladies, thank you for being with us at the Talking Hedge. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it. Tell me a little bit about Hello Again Products. What is it and maybe how did you get into the industry? Well, Patty and I have been friends for a long time, but when our kids went off to college, we went to a dispensary. We didn't have any prior real relationship with cannabis, but we were curious. And there we learned about the plant and what it was already addressing, what conditions it was addressing, and we do a direct line between that and what we were experiencing as women in menopause. Okay. So that, that put us on the path of figuring out and learning and talking to everybody we possibly could and realizing that the product we wanted didn't exist because we needed something to take care of our brain fog and our pain and the anxiety and the sleeplessness and all of these things that come with hot flashes that come with menopause. But we wanted to take it in the morning to relieve our symptoms and get on with our day, which meant it couldn't give you a head high. So that's how our product became a suppository. That delivery system was perfect for this. And we were off and running. How many products do you have? We have two. We have a, a Logan Every Day and Logan Sleep. So the sleep product has a little more THC, and the benefit of having it as a vaginal suppository is that we can use more THC in our product than we could if it was an edible or some other delivery method. So we really can harness the power of the plant in this product, but not give you that typical head high. I've had a friend of mine who was given uh, a suppository. He tried it and didn't know that he just thought he was going to be in for the day. But he got a call, he said, hey, we need you to come up for this bowling tournament. He went to a bowling tournament and he said that the suppository was a performance enhancing drug. He shot a, um, a perfect game. So <laughs> if you guys found any, anything other than menopause where you're like, man, that, that actually does something different. Another example is I was taking CBG, thinking that was gonna be for focus and clarity, but the anti-inflammation of my shoulder really worked really well are there kind of not side effects but are there additional things where you kind of notice this works really well for my menopause and well we definitely we, we got on the shelves for menopause for customer founders that's what, what we created the product for but we the staff at the stores and then I have three daughters Carrie has a daughter all in their 20s they started using our product for period cramps um, PMS we got a lot of positive feedback from endometriosis women who have endometriosis which is a big portion of society we have no idea mm. because of that local application and the relaxation factor it can sort of apply to those we have a, we had an older woman email us about bursitis that she had bursitis in her hip she was well over 70 and she said for the first time at night she could roll over at night because oh, wow. the pain had been relieved and you know the anti-inflammation properties that it has so we have gotten a lot of positive feedback outside of medical. and certainly during covid a lot of women who don't relate to being in menopause or don't think they're there yet mm. We're home, no shortage of anxiety, no shortage of sleeplessness. And especially our day product, it really gives you, it balances your mood, you don't take the fighting words, you keep every, you know, it gives you a, a moment, it increases your energy a little bit. So higher productivity. I use it a lot for focus. You mentioned focus. It really lifts brain fog, I can find my words. So they're def it's definitely a woman's wellness product, even though we formulated for menopause. I haven't tried bowling on it, but yet, but we will. <laughs> Why, why is it so challenging to get high like a lady? Is it the, is it, there's a lot of bro science with cannabis. It's kind of just knowledge passed down, but not really backed by science or, or anything else. And there's a lot of, of men in the industry. There's not a lot of people of color. There's not a lot of females. Um, and so obviously that's kind of your, your entry into the marketplace. What were some of the challenges to figure out how to get high like a lady? Well, so our challenge is bringing women who probably, like, like me at least, hadn't been to a dispensary before. Our challenge is getting women to forget that bad experience in high school and that this isn't the same plant that you dealt with when you were in high school and to come into a dispensary or use a delivery service. So that, that is where Hello Again puts a lot of effort into educating our customer that we exist, that we're a really effective alternative to the, you know, not many other relief products out there. Um, so that's, that's a big part of it, is but education. Suppositories in general are a great delivery system for medicinal, you know, for Western medicine anyway. So it's like that part of the science 
we could we knew and could apply and then the cannabis in our formulation we have other added botanicals in our product that help target specific symptoms so between all the terpenes in there you know we tested it we had medical advisors we put it together so we're the, we're to target those specific symptoms. but our, our best dispensary partners are buyers who realize that we actually are bringing in women who aren't coming into the dispensary anyway. And once they're there, they're multiple products, they're multiple markets in one because they, oh, we're doing the big pick up the dog treats for their dog and the balm for their husband's knees and, you know, many other products. So that's been, that's been a great uh, symbiosis for us between us and the dispensaries. I find it really challenging to educate and then sell. What have you done to be successful in that process of trying to get your, your brand and products out there? I think we're, we're lucky in one sense that we exist in both the menopause space and women's wellness space and cannabis space. So we're not you know restricted to just speaking within the cannabis community. We can reach out to others. And then in the cannabis community, we can speak about menopause and women's wellness, which isn't you know always talked about either and trying to bring that up to the forefront. I want to touch on, on the suppositories again. You already told me why, um, and I said that it was a performance enhancing drug, and yet in Washington State where I'm from, um, white women 50 and over are the number one purchasers of pre-rolls. They buy them a lot. I'm assuming they don't want to buy a pipe and look like a crackhead. I'm assuming they don't want a ritual of concentrates and dabbing. I'm assuming they don't want accessories. It's a grab and go, you throw it away and you're done. Is right. that an accurate statement of, of at least the women in Washington? And, and why not use suppositories instead of um, joints? Well, if you want to get high, you're going to have to use a lot more THC in a suppository than is found in our product. And our sleep product has 20 milligrams. So you have to get into the close to 100 milligrams and more because it doesn't, it bypasses the liver. Yeah. So all that psychoactivity that happens as a biological process in the liver isn't happening for this product. So. Our, I mean, one thing I love about our product is if you want to get high, you can you can use Hello again, you know, li sleep well at night, lift your confusion, control your body temperature, address your anxiety, all of that to get on with your day and enjoy a pre-roll at night. It, yeah. it's, they're two separate things. But also it's discreet. No one needs to know you're using it. You won't smell like smoke mm -hmm. and it's consistent between women. You know the, the effects of it as it goes into your system is is reliable from woman to woman that was really important for us because if you have an edible or even if you smoke she can have a totally different experience than I can. so the consistency and being discreet was important to us so it's just a different it's a different um, consistency between cannabis. women and also consistency for yourself because like an edible it could hit you differently depending on what's in your stomach or you know whatnot so you can really rely on how you're gonna feel when you use a suppository so are you seeing more sales in conservative states like Arizona versus like Washington State that's a little bit we more hope we will but we are just in California now. just in Cali yeah what are your yeah. plans for expansion we are looking at other states now yeah why are yeah, you yeah. at NMJ impacts <laughs> we're here I mean, we're here to you know learn about multi-state operators to speak to investors we, we get so many I mean it's so fun to look at our new contact submission form every day because we get so much positive feedback but it's so hard to say we're not in your state yet we're not in your state yet and we get we have I think we have maybe not Alaska but we may have we may have inquiries from every state and a couple of in some other countries as well menopause doesn't discriminate <laughs> <laughs> what would mark a successful MJ impact or cannabis week whether it's here or at MJ BizCon at the convention center what is your takeaway what are you hoping to get uh, what would make it a successful trip for you you know we were just talking about this we are actually even meeting people here that we have been talking with in California and what via zoom we launched mm -hmm. two weeks before COVID hit <laughs> so honestly a successful is face-to-face -face interaction and getting to know people and establishing relationships there's just nothing like it you can't do it over zoom as well as you can do it in person so I mean we would just love to go home having made some you know personal relationships growing some colleagues you know we've really been we've really been operating in the silo during during COVID so this is this is really a great opportunity for us and it's been it's been fun that part of it's been really fun well for people in other states who would like to add to the list of when you're available how can they find you are you on social media what's your email Our, website all that email and website is hellogainproducts.com Instagram is Hello Again Products. Hello Again Products. So look us up, send us a message. Sign up for our newsletter because that's how we're going to announce where and when we expand. Okay. 
I think with that, we're going to have to roll this one up. I want to thank my guests, Carrie and Patty, with Hello Again Products. Thanks for being on The Talking Hedge. Thanks for having us, Appreciate it. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is The Talking Hedge. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, or don't, and I'm out. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out and check out these other videos that we've got.